Hello everybody, how's it going? Game Informer Live, we are playing Lies of P. I'm Kyle Hilliard. Wes LeBlanc is here with Hello. me. How's it going? I'm I'm Wes, I'm I'm excited to play this with you because your your review is on GameInformer.com. Is this the highest review you've ever given while reviewing games it at Game is, Informer? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, see. My highest review at Game Informer, and um, I didn't know it at the time, but I actually looked into it like yesterday. Ah. It's the highest score I've ever given a game, like uh, as a professional writer, I guess, or uh, under a byline, you know? Right, right. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty big deal for me, and it was, it felt good. I didn't even, like, question it it wasn't a score where i wrote the review and i'm like oh, where am i falling on this like i was like this is yeah this is one of the best games i've played this year easy good good yeah i um, yeah i uh i certainly read your review and, and it's one of those things where i was like i definitely under i see where wes is coming from and why he loves it this much even if maybe i don't feel as strongly about this <laughs> be myself which is to say Wait, i different people have different opinions i know i look i'm sorry to sort of reveal that here but that i know that makes it sound like i'm coming in negative that's not the case i've really enjoyed my time with lies of p and in fact i um sort of i beat a boss here in this room that we're at and just stopped like i went to this i you, you can see i have like eight thousand ergo in the top right corner because i didn't even go redeem it i was just like i'm just gonna stop here and then we'll have this nice spot where i'm not like hitting my head against a boss for an hour for us to stream um so it, to, that is to say, like I'm just I was excited to get back to it. Um, speaking yeah, of, you uh, being live. you had told me where you're at, and um, we just defeated a boss, which I guess we don't need to spoil here. No, we can, yeah, you already we defeated it. Um, but I knew exactly where you were, and I was like, yes, please beat that boss before <laughs> we play because the next area um, is one of my favorite uh, areas to go through in the game. Cool. Yeah, and I'm kind of given. Um, I'm sort of like. If I'm not moving yet, it's because I'm just trying to get things sort of situated. I want to pull up Twitch chat. I want to get feedback from everybody to make sure our sound levels are good and like the, the video looks good and all those fun things. Um, but yeah, uh, look at that now. Posts look great. I'll say. Woo, 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 woo. I'm like, this is, I'm like, gotta move that camera quickly. That's like the test. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, let me pop are out you this playing chat. On the, uh, I don't know what they call it. Performance mode, basically. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever the sort of, gosh, I want to say, like, default graphics. Yeah, performance, which I think it defaults to that, which is which is nice. Um, yeah. I it sucks too, want performance you're, oh, mode. Oh, you're on PC, it looks like, huh? Yeah. Yes, yeah, playing on PC. Okay. I, I've actually, I played a lot, um, most of my time playing it has been Steam Deck, actually. Um, just yeah, by, nice. I was traveling recently, and yeah. Exactly. All right. On PlayStation, it has different modes, but you have to go to the main menu to swap back. And oh, you can't just kinda, do in the I middle. I hate when games do that. I just, just let me do it. Well, I mean, I guess there's some technical limitation, you know, but... Oh, yeah, for sure. But that's not my problem. Nothing to, like... Right? Yeah, nothing to really <laughs> complain about. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Um, You know what? First thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to turn in some of this experience. I don't want to be losing all this. In fact, I think there's a lot of characters waiting at Krat Hotel at this point. Um, oh, does that mean I? Does that mean yeah, I m is, missed a disc? There's like a record on Saint Saint Francisco Cathedral you Library. You can go back and get one. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Listen, I'm too quiet. Oh, you're too quiet. Let's see. I can't. I, can you turn yourself up for from your end, Wes? I can't do too much on my end. Yeah. My input volume's up. Okay. So. Oh, actually, here I know what, what I need a, to do. Um, what about now, Oscar? I'm actually, I'm going to, um, let's see, uh, what am I trying to do here? Okay. I'm actually going to, I know what I did. I know what I need to do here. That'll help a lot. Um, uh, I'm going to okay, turn, I'm going to, I'm going to turn you way up here. This will probably help. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the game settings and actually turn down, um, just the game volume there. That's the guy. Uh-oh. Getting an odd, getting odd sounds here. All right, is that better, everybody? Um, please let me know. Maybe I turned down the game audio too much. Wes, can you say a couple things? Yeah, we are playing Lies of P. It's a very cool game. 
gave it a 9.5, my highest score ever, and now we're testing my volume to make sure I sound good while we stream this awesome game. <laughs> Wes, yeah. Now, okay. now I'm like a robot. <laughs> okay, here, keep talking, Wes. Keep talking for me. Yeah, so Lies of P is just a very cool game. You play as Pinocchio, and your dad is Geppetto, and Jiminy is there. Uh, not exactly sure if he's a cricket, but Jiminy's there. Okay, he's spelled it differently. Like okay, everyone, please. Yeah. yeah, he seems good, and I can turn up the game audio if I need to. Um, yeah, this is, you know, this always happens. Wes is normal now, for once. Yes, finally. <laughs> I yeah, wonder, they they spell uh, Jiminy's name Gemini, but they say Jiminy, and I'm. That's weird. It's like that's not that doesn't. I mean, it, it does work. You you made your game. Say whatever you want, but like <laughs> as a Gemini, <laughs> like you spelled a Gemini. Um. Everyone. Uh. Also, I I don't know. There's people here to talk to, but I'm actually. I think maybe I don't talk to them, because I don't want to like get into story stuff really. Yeah, you're at a well not quite you're getting towards some turning points um but nothing too big here so wes i this is these are the kind of things i i wanted to ask you about i have been throwing a lot of my experience just at technique because i want my sword just to do as much damage as possible and and i yeah. feel sometimes i feel like i'm putting just too much into that is that stupid <laughs> should i be t putting more motivity i i don't know um i can say with 29 technique you're just a you're basically capped so i'm going to 30 just to that, spite you <laughs> something that is present in most uh souls like games and in this game they're called like soft caps so you'll notice when you're upgrading levels uh you'll see that it increases certain stats the main stats so vitality would be your health it'll go up like six points right um and you'll see it continue to do that but eventually you'll go to upgrade it and it'll go up two points and that's kind of like a soft cap you can still upgrade your health but you're only getting two points now instead of six points okay which is kind of the game's way of saying maybe you know upgrade some other stuff and 29 is where i soft capped technique um also, you might have already found or will find an amulet that gives you plus four technique. So you can probably safely ignore your technique uh, stat. At this point forward. For a while now, yeah. Okay. Um, let me, yeah, if we could look at the rest of your stats, let me see. Oh, sure. Yeah, I was thinking technique is what. Technique's the build I did as well, and yeah. I think it's a really great build. But talking to other people that have reviewed this game, the general consensus is technique is hard mode in this game, which is funny. Uh, oh really because, oh okay yeah um i like it it's like a very critical hit stagger heavy um build but yeah your health is low and you go down quick okay um yeah you're you're doing i would say vitality vigor and technique are what you should focus on and then occasionally every few levels give capacity some love yeah i hit up because... capacity if there's something i want to sort of equip that yeah. uh, blank is too heavy. I, I found the hunter who I can sell the boss souls to, for lack of a better term. It has, yes. It's called just something different here, but you guys know. Ergo that. chunks. Yeah. Ergo um, chunks. Are you, are you rolling with one weapon at a time or two? Just one. I don't, okay, I don't ever too. switch. Just because, yeah, and it's like a lot of weight to take on a whole other weapon. Yeah. I, um, I mean, the way I play Souls games is... And this is, a, we're not just like, I know it's like just old hat, it's cliche to compare everything to Souls, but I mean, th there's no denying it here, right? Like, there's just like, they, they if you go to their a, description, yeah, yeah, it's a Souls like, and they proudly, they proudly wear that on its sleeve. Yeah, um, but I always, I am, I'm a guy who, even in Elden Ring, I basically use the same weapon the whole game. And that's, wow. okay. yeah, and that's what I'm doing here because I just like this weapon. It's very quick. Um, I've leveled it up a lot. It, this is your starting weapon. I tried switching to a couple other weapons and just haven't really found any that sing to me. And you know, I'm I'm happy to just use this. It's uh, it's it's fine. You know, that's the rapier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny you mentioned that. That is um, the weapon I use them for a good bit of the game until I unlocked a different weapon that's technique focused, um, which is a special weapon. Okay. Uh, this is what's considered a normal weapon. Um, which is why you can break it apart into a handle and a blade. Special weapons you cannot, and they're a little more flashy. Uh, but I fully upgraded this weapon, and it's the only normal weapon I was able to fully upgrade. Gotcha. Um, and then I also fully upgraded this special weapon. 
so yeah, you're 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 doing okay. This is a great weapon. Thank you. I, that's all, I was di I was I was digging. Like I wanted you to compliment me. That's why. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Lazarus Orange you. says um, today I learned motivity is a real word. It is in Lies of P. I've got like 50 hours in this game at this point. Still could not tell you what motivity <laughs> means, to be honest. Uh, yeah, and Oscar, um, Oscar. Hello, Oscar, who's always hanging out, is asking us about the Nintendo Direct yesterday. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you have a favorite from the Nintendo Direct, Wes? Probably the Thousand Year Door remake. Um, I've never played it, but uh, one of my best friends, it's like his one of his all-time favorite games, and he always wants me to play it, but I'm like, uh, you know, hooking up a GameCube and doing all that. I so. gotta play Lies of P. It's very important. Yeah, exactly. And now I get to play a, a really nice version, and it seems like a great remake. Like, they're not messing with too much. It's very faithful uh, looking, and I'm excited about it. I wanted to try to see if I could just turn up the brightness a little bit. I feel like I'm quite dark. Let's see. Like, it looks good on my screen, but it doesn't look good on the stream. That That looks a little better, mm. I think. Um, yeah. So I have not been in this location. This is all new to me. So I don't know the path of pilgrim, foggy night. I don't know what I'm going to encounter here. That looks like a friendly dog. I can try to go pet. There we go. Two hits. That feels good. That's a. Is that gonna? Is that gonna hurt me if I? It's a bear trap. Do those go off? Is this Resident Evil Four? <laughs> Who can say? Who can say? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume that that will hurt me and not mess with it. Uh -oh, yeah, I got, it's not I got great. Multiple people here. I forgot about this is actually a different area, but this is still a really good area. Um, I forgot about this little section. This does. It's funny I mentioned Resident Evil Four because this feels very Resident Evil Four. Yeah, this is. Um, I like the city of Krat a lot, and I. But I really like that you get to get outside of it sometimes with sections like this. Yeah, the game is um surprisingly, and this is a compliment that I I, I actually like it for this reason. It, surprisingly uh, linear. It's not yes, really. I agree. Yeah. What they call it, kind of spoke, uh, like a wheel spoke design, where it's like you have the central mm -hmm. and you can go off in a lot of different directions. That's not. Lies of P is not structured in that way. Mm -mm. Lies of P is uh, A to B, which is all right with me. Yeah, and it has like your little. It has great shortcuts, uh, in my opinion. Like the shortcuts are nice in the way that you want in a Souls like. Um, but yeah, it's you. It's pretty tough to get lost. Like you kind of just go forward and you'll eventually hit all the shortcuts. Um, I couldn't really get into it in my review just because, I, I mean, I briefly touched on it, but I only did so many words, but it is, there's a lot of interesting things in Lies of P to make it one of the easier Souls-likes out there. I don't know if any Souls-like is like meant for beginners just because like they're going to kick your butt, mm. but I think if someone was like really interested in finally giving one of these a good shake, Lies of P would be a really great start. Um, it's understandable. It's not too, um, not hiding too much, and yeah, like you mentioned, it's pretty linear. I yeah, I actually, I, I felt similarly where it's like if you if you maybe you're like I've always wanted to get oh my god what the that's not fair um, wanted to get into like a Souls game but like you know uh, Frums games are just a little too difficult to crack. This one I feel like has a good on ramp uh, in terms of like not it's still there's still like a lot of confusing things that I don't understand. Frankly, mm -hmm. is that a bear? Oh boy, this is gonna go poorly, I think. Um, but I felt like I kind of had a better, I had a better grasp on what Lies of P was doing and what it wanted me to do than I did say Elden Ring after like two hours, if that makes sense, right? Two hours of Elden Ring, yeah, I was still sure. quite confused. Two hours of Lies of P, I was like, okay, I, I kind of see what you're doing here. God, this guy actually has a lot of health. Whoa. I have to, I'm trying to get better at the, uh, what you suggested is like getting better at the sort of timed counters, you know? Yeah, you've got a couple oh. bosses and then you're going to hit one that is Goes full basically a skill check on your uh, perfect guarding because from that point forward, you really got to have that down for the rest of the game. Second half uh, gets very uh, Sekiro and... Not, I mean, it's not like Lady Butterfly stuff where you're oh, guarding Lady 20 Butterfly, hits in a row. God. Lady Butterfly, yeah, I, I didn't realize was an optional boss, and I just spent like a year on that. <laughs> it's woman. one of the hardest bosses I've ever fought, and it's if you don't realize it's optional, 
you that's like the second boss you fight in yeah. that game no I I, I I it was terrible I played it in the worst yeah. way <laughs> yeah because I remember like for days uh Dan, former PC editor game from Dan Tack was like my uh, soul's sort of tutor, tutor, right? He's the one who was always available to like answer my questions about what I need to do in these games. And uh, I played Sekiro for days, and like I was stuck on Madam Butterfly for a, a bunch of nights in a row. And I finally came into the office, and I was like, Dan, I beat Madam Butterfly. Aren't you proud of me? And he was like, oh, uh, you didn't have to. Like You could have just yeah. skipped her. And I was like, what? I no, That can't be true. I thought I don't know where else to go. <laughs> So, I uh, yeah, I had a friend who quit because of Lady Butterfly, and I was like, even after I told him it was optional, he still quit because he was that annoyed with that boss. And yeah, I do think tough. it's one of the harder bosses in From's catalog. Although, um, oh, I forget his name. Did you beat Sekiro? I did. Yeah. What's the the guy at the top of the tower? He has the lightning. Yeah. That yeah, he's I don't remember his name, but he's that like dude. you fight him a couple times, right? He's like the first yes. boss that you fail mm -hmm. on purpose, and yeah. I probably he probably killed me fifty times. I've never yeah. been more upset at a boss. But why was Lady Butterfly? Butterfly? There's an easy way of beating here. Says Judon, Judonkadonk. Oh. Judonkadonk. Yeah, I mean, I mean to be fair, that's like every from boss, right? There's like there's always a way. If mm -hmm. you're smart enough, or if you build your character in a certain way, oh, I'm not familiar with what the easy way of beating Lady Butterfly is, though. You don't go. No, no, so I'm not please, either. you tell. Where did that butter? Speaking of butterflies, where did that butterfly go? Usually, you have to hit him like a couple times, and you find him somewhere else. Oh, there it is. Okay, is it gonna go away? Am I gonna make it? Ah, I don't actually see. Oh, I see. Him. There was um. Yeah, Wes is a couple seconds behind, but there's these purple butterflies that you can find and if you kill them you get bonuses and stuff but I think since I missed it I won't be able to try it again until I die or come back or you know reset. yeah until you reload the stargazer the stargazer um, Lazarus Orange asks the what differentiates this from souls likes both pros and cons I think we've kind of already talked about uh, pros but um, a line in my review that I think sums it up nicely is like Lies of P uses what's familiar to uh -oh. Souls-like players, people that know from software games, and it uses what's familiar, and it uses the, the mainstays, the highlights, like the Poison Swamp, the Gothic Cathedral, those kind of places, um, and then adds their own spin on top of that. So, like, it feels familiar, but you're learning new things, and I think, ultimately, it makes for, like, a unique package. Um, oh, as far as cons go, I mean... It's not a From Software game, and they are the creators of this genre and the best at it. But, uh, I mean, they are, they've are they gotten so close to it. The bosses <laughs> are amazing. The world layout's great. The enemy variety's awesome. Um, I don't know what more they could have done to nail this short of just being From Software. Maybe the, the story could have used a little more of that, like, Miyazaki touch. But Liza P is telling a very a much more streamlined and linear story. It's not uh, the more like lore dense stuff you get in from software games, which I appreciated. Yeah, I like I like that it's much easier to sort of follow. I mean, it helps that it has the base of Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Like honestly, like yeah. it it seemed so funny at first, and it's still odd, but it is it it, it kind of gives you an under like it's like when you meet the character Geppetto, you're like. Oh, I, I know our deal. You're my dad. I, we don't really have to, mm -hmm. like, I don't have to find some obscure item somewhere <laughs> that's like, yeah. by the way, Geppetto's your dad. If you had read the description on this ring, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess, I mean, there is a lack of, um, there are there are a lot of options when it comes to, like, designing what weapons you want to use and stuff, because you can, like, split it into two, right? You have the handles and you have the blades, mm -hmm. but it, there's still not as much variety and sort of character designing so to speak as there is in, in a from game right you you can oh yeah there's sure. a lot more options like you you're just this dude you're just uh you know legally distinct timothy chalamet uh like and that's that's who everybody plays as which is like i'm kind of into that that's why sekiro is like my yeah. favorite from game because it's like they they more or less lock you into one character and one weapon and then it's like you can kind of tweak a little bit around that but 
it gives the designers a chance to really focus on making that one thing fun rather than having to spread themselves out and be like, well, we got to make sure short swords are fun and, and hammers. For Sekiro, they're like, this sword's got to be fun and we're going to make it as fun as possible. Boom. Call it a day. We'll knock this game yeah. out in six months. I'm sure it took much longer it's, than that. Yeah, it's kind of like Bloodborne, although Bloodborne does have more character variety and build yeah. variety. Less than Dark like, Souls, more than Sekiro, right? Exactly, yeah. Um, but I do think, yeah, to your point, uh, you are, I mean, I have toyed with the strength build, and it's not all that different from my technique build, um, other than the fact that I can carry bigger weapons and I hit a little harder. Like, Pinocchio feels like Pinocchio no matter what you do, I think, which is yeah. different because in Dark Souls, for example, my uh, wizard character can feel a lot different, or magic using character can feel a lot different than, like, a classic knight. <laughs> Lazarus says, uh, Wonka, Lies of W. Oh, no, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I just wanted to pick up the little thing. Now I got to fight you. Can I climb this? Look, is this... Okay, he's not going to chase me in here. I mean, I, I don't have... I need to find... I got one health item. Oh, I like that you can recover a health item sort of pretty simply. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Oop. Only when you're out of oh, them no. completely. <laughs> I got, like, stuck on a corner. That was... I mean, that was basically a, that's basically a glitch is what happened there. You'll see it here in a second, Wes, where I just fall through the floor. <laughs> I got caught yeah, up on I'm the elevator. I'm watching it happen now. <laughs> uh, that wasn't the door I opened, was it? No. All right, I gotta, I gotta make some progress here. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna fight everybody in the same way I did though. I think a lot of those, the bear is probably not gonna be back, right? The bear is like one and done. Usually, some of those bigger enemies like that. Um, I think, yeah, I think you'll be good. Uh, it's, it's not super clear which ones come back. In yeah. Lies of P. I mean, if they have like a health bar and a name at the bottom, yeah, they're one and done. But there's a few enemies where I was like, surely this is a boss or not a boss an enemy that will not be returning oh. and they do return and i'm just like okay that's a tank that i'm gonna have to kill every time oh speaking of speaking yeah. of the bear come on buddy ow let's see um bah! i don't even think i beat him till after i beat the game to be honest oh really you just ran past him yeah oh, God, I'm uh, super just stuck here Ugh. that was as i got in a bad corner there i probably i think i am gonna yeah. run past him Oh, no shame in it. Jadonkadonk, what weird property do you think would fit this format? Uh, interesting. Mm, it's hard not to think like of... Like, specifically like, Souls-like. It's hard not to think of, like, other video game properties that I would like, like a Souls version of, right? Yeah. Like, Ninja Turtles might be fun. I just want, like, a good, hard adult... Not adult in the sense that, it, like, I want it to be, like, violent and bloody, but I mean, like, adult in the sense, like, of just, like takes a lot of consideration like to give the batman arkham um yeah treatment to ninja turtles uh they're making a last ronin game maybe, maybe yeah it'll be a little souls like it could that would fit really well yeah that's i i hope i i i have hope high hopes for that game just because i like as much as like ninja turtles is closely associated with video games it's never i feel like it's always sort of arcadey fun i would love something a little yeah. more like uh specific a platinum made that one ninja turtle game um that I reviewed and it had some in it, like moving around as the Ninja Trolls in that game felt really good, but um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't quite what I was looking for. All right, we're skipping when was the that. Bear. That sounds familiar, but I'm not. I forgot what it was called, but it was like, gosh, I mean, I played it, I reviewed it. It was like kind of rogue-ish, like it sort of. It was one of those games that encouraged you to replay it a lot, um, and the mm -hmm. sort of movement felt really good, but. Um, the structure of the game was was kind of underwhelming, but uh, I'm trying to think feeling. of something fun, but my mind's just going to other Disney yeah. properties because of Pinocchio being. I mean, it, it's not a Disney property, but you know right. they have a, a movie. Well, hey, that counts. Jurassic Park, running around Ooh, sword fighting. Cool. Jurassic Park, Old Testament Souls like. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to, like, sacrifice a goat every time uh, you want to, like, heal or something. I don't know. Ben Hansen, former game former now min-max proprietor, he always he always makes a call for, um, he wants, like, Lego, Lego Old Testament. He wants a Lego game based on the Bible. <laughs> Which I think is I'm surprised that doesn't exist already, hey, to be honest. I think it would sell a lot. I'm no economist, but 
We have a. What's that? There's a. Isn't there again Jesus Christ the game or something? Or, oh yeah. I don't know. There is a a Jesus game coming. I, I haven't looked into it. I'm still not sure if it's like uh, faithful Real, yeah. to the story of Jesus or if it's like playing off of that. But um, okay, so there was a big boy here a minute ago, but he's. I think he might have been a one and done guy. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. Oh, oh, there he is. Okay, he's still here. I don't care for no, you, no, no. sir. You you got him. It was like the dog thing that jumped out. Let's right. See. My flame sword going. While I focus on this, um, do you mind explaining what I just did there to make my sword turn on fire, Wes? Yeah, so you have a grindstone pretty much from the start of the oh. game, and that restores your weapon durability, which is that white bar on the bottom right above his weapon. Um, not too far into the game, you get uh, like special additions to your grindstone. Um, you can have like a fire one, electric, acid. There's even one that makes it so where every block you do is a perfect guard, which is oh, very helpful. Really? Oh, so you, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and that. yeah, like you saw, he just like it's one of the coolest animations. He just like yeah. slides his sword across his grindstone and it lights it on fire. And um, it lasts like maybe a minute, two minutes, and um, it's extremely important. Almost every enemy in this game has like an elemental weakness. The uh, uh, the uh, fire is very useful against these uh, monsters we're fighting right now. Um, electricity works well against puppets and all that. But yeah, you don't necessarily need it for like these smaller enemies. But against bosses, especially bosses, and even like the bigger tankier enemies, uh, it brings them down quickly. It increases their stagger faster so that you can get some fatal attacks on them. Um, it's not something to be ignored. Because I yeah. kind of do ignore it in most uh, Souls likes. I just kind of hit my way through stuff. But I think the elemental weaknesses plays a really big role in combat here. It's also nice that like the grinder like isn't really a, I mean, a depletable resource in a way. Like you, every, whenever you. Um, what is it? I forget what they're called. They're the 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 the, tor the campfires, right? Like the yes, those stargazer. Like, give, the stargazers give you back um, stuff, and I and you know you can as near as I can tell. Maybe I'm wrong. I can just sort of get my sword back up and up to stuff after every fight if I really wanted to. I don't think it really affects anything. Yeah, there's no yeah, there's no um uh limit on that. It's weird. I um didn't really ever need to do that. And then in the last, like, 15% of the game, I needed to do it mid-fight often. I don't know what happened, if maybe the sword I was using had, like, weaker, a much weaker durability. It didn't seem like it. Um, but I kind of ignored the, the weapon durability until uh -oh, until near the end of the game, and then it was, like, crucial. Yeah. There was, uh, I, the, at this early point in the game, the couple of times I've used it is when I'm like, whoa, geez, I was stuck against a corner there. Um, when I'll, like, be going on a long run of uh, enemies, yeah. you know. I'm, I don't want to fight this guy. When you block and it's not a perfect guard, that hits your uh, durability a lot, too. No, Obviously, it. attacking does as well, but well, um, that's another cool. reason. To Jesus, <laughs> sorry to cut you off. This guy is like, I really thought he couldn't fit through there. Okay, he's leaving the, me alone. The enemies in this game will follow you for so far if they can. It's uh, often hilarious, sometimes frustrating, because in these games, sometimes you do just need to run away and hope to find safety, and uh, Liza P does not make that easy all the time. God, I'm running low on health. What's this? Hobbler's yeah, Bridge. That guy's going to try to fall on me. There he goes. Not There's definitely today. an AI leash, Dr. Um, Mono. Like, they do eventually turn around, but they will go pretty far before they do. Um, so AI leash for sure, but uh, the longest leash I've seen in this is like. What is that? Yeah, like? I would definitely, I think you should probably focus on getting your health up leveling wise. Yeah. But, I mean, you're not, your technique is... I wouldn't. You don't rest necessarily need to go any higher. I beat the game at twenty nine technique. Okay. Um, so you're you're set there. So you, yeah, you can just focus on health and vigor and a little capacity. Saw blade. Oh, go up, please. 
and what did uh, what costumes. did your what did your Pinocchio end up looking like? I have like a cool suit. I like the glasses. Um, I had a. Uh, my favorite suit was an all black, uh, thing, and he had like a short cape. It only went halfway down his back. Mm. Um, it's very very cool. I know the name, but I won't spoil the name because it has some story. Uh, implication stuff, but it's really cool. On, There's a lot of outfits too. Every Souls like should have outfits. Yeah, very fun I mean, addition. Most do, except for Sekiro, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like I like specifically that they don't have any tie to your stats or anything. Oh sure. It's nice yeah, that yeah. I can just be a little goofy looking Pinocchio or a cool looking one sometimes without worrying about any stats. Is there build variety, or is it closer to the Jedi games? Um, there's definitely build variety. Uh, you have like five or six stats uh, technique, which is what Kyle's focused on here, and it's also what I focused on. Um, vitality, which is your health, uh, vigor, which is your stamina, and then you've got capacity for your like a carrying capacity. Um, but we were kind of talking about this earlier. You can yeah, slightly customize Pinocchio in that way, but for the most part, Pinocchio is going to feel like Pinocchio regardless of your style mm -hmm. of play. Um, with the technique build that we're doing, it's a lot more critical hit and stagger focused, but you could do like a strength run where he just hits hard um, and can tank a lot of damage, and he, but he wouldn't be as fast as Kyle is. Um, I like so yeah, yeah I'm, uh, a, I'm a speed boy. That's what they call me. That That is what we call you, yeah. Uh, we likened it to close to Bloodborne and Sekiro in terms of build customization. Nowhere near like Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Ancient, and I, I can't ancient, recall what Jedi Survivor was like. Yeah, I think Jedi Survivor kind of gave you a little more sort of options. Cause you're switching between like lightsabers and stuff like that, but... Oh, God. This sucks. <laughs> this I, mean, I, I These sections are always like so... Uh, uh, just like uh, make me stress me. Yeah, out. I, I. It's weird that they always have these sections <laughs> because they're like it's platforming, but these games are not meant to be platformers. I guess yeah. There's they just want to make them stressful. There's a particularly rough one at the sort of tail end of Elden Ring. I feel like if you're going for all the endings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, sweet relief. That's a good feeling. Oh my gosh, they got they got red lobster up in here. That's why I wanted you to play this part. Yeah, <laughs> I, kn I know you're a huge red lobster fan. So. Cheddar bay biscuits, cheddar bay biscuits. That is so strange. <laughs> I mean, they're not an American studio, right? So maybe they don't know. Red yeah, lobster, they're but... uh, South Korean. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, what's up, fellas? And these are you guys remember these characters, the cat and the fox. Oh, I saw you go into the factory. I thought you would have been burnt to a brother, being too friendly. Oh, Dr. Mono, on behalf of Dan Tack, do they have large clubs or hammers? Large club, yes. Large hammer, yes, as well. Especially if you um build a weapon by taking apart blades and handles. I think there's one called like a Milner blade or something, but it's just a giant cinder block that you can make a hammer with. I didn't use them. I didn't have the uh, stamina for that, but yeah. Yeah, I thought I have a baseball bat, I think, even. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hello, Gleepot. Oh, I guess I can't. Can I not change my weapon here if I wanted to? Well, you can, yeah. Equipment. There we go. Okay. Yeah. See, I got. Yeah, I have like a baseball bat, and a, not baseball. It's a it's a baton. I guess a police baton and an axe, a wrench. Uh, but I like my oh, I like my my little pokey guy. Look at that. So I guess I just I'll told these guys they could help me if I, I like if I it. want. They're gonna come help me fight. I guess. That's weird. I haven't encountered anything like that. I mean, you could. I've called in people to help me fight, but never like dudes that just like follow me around the street. That's weird. What starting weapon did you choose? I don't believe there isn't a starting weapon. He's using the starting weapon, which is a... Uh, I forget the official name, but it's basically like a rapier. And you kind of uh, 
You're like kind a of, fence. Uh, it's like a yeah. fencing. Yeah, exactly. See, look at this. Look at that. Um, look how cool that is. And I I used this starting weapon. It was the one normal weapon, so non-special weapon that I upgraded all the way. Uh, it's a starting weapon, but it is very very good. Club, so it's always nice to get the. It's not, um, you know, you can't you can't really stealth your way through the game. It's not designed to be that way, but it is satisfying to get up behind somebody and just tear them apart with a big old stab. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you if you do this much, but even when you're like not in stealth and like when characters know that you're fighting them, you can quit if you can get around quick enough to their backs, you can still get a fatal attack on them. Yeah, which is, uh, very helpful. Yeah, and even uh, some the bosses even. Yeah, like the, um, not many bosses, but the non-main chapter bosses do that too. I'm trying to set her on fire. Oh, this lady, I like having these guys around. They're helpful. Oh, let me see if I can do that. Oh, took her, took her out before I could do the, uh, when, they're, when their health bars glow white like that, you can sort of do that big stab and, and do a, yeah. a, a nice, like, finisher. But we killed her before we, health, could, before we could get it done. If the health bar is white, you can stagger them by doing oh. a charged attack, which is oh. like the right trigger. They're tricky. And then, oh yeah. gosh, and then you can do a uh, fatal attack, which is like the... I forget what they're called in other games, but... The big damage attack. Whoa. Uh, it did that thing where it's, it, it put a... Collectible on the other side of the room, and I walked over to it and fell, fell through the right floor, floor. And it's like, all right, you got got you jerks. How do I get out of here? Are you gonna wake up when I try to collect your uh, story? I guess. Oh, I can level up. Maybe I should go do that. You hit that door, Pinocchio. If the health bar is white, you can stagger all night. It's actually true, Lazarus. <laughs> okay, that's that's the hole that I fell through there. But you know it was worth it because I met some cool people and got some cool stuff. They're very cool people. Big fans of uh, <laughs> them helping. Wait, game's so it? pretty. It has has no right to be this pretty. Yeah, it's a good looking game. I don't know what sorcery they did, but it has a little bit of that Unreal Engine like uh, shininess and stuff. Yeah, and popping like to it, but for the most part, uh, I think it's a really well designed and original world. Uh, those guys like, left me. It's like what that was like five seconds. At least hang around for a boss. Jeez. Oh, you know what? Actually, they got things to do. I guess so. Let's uh, let's come down from the top here. There we go. Did that do? Did I take damage from that fall? I don't think I did. Chain. Nice. Ooh, I keep hitting these big guys. So many Resident Evil Four vibes in this in this area. Hmm. Do I fight Mr. Man? No, I don't think so. This is a tough section. So, this is, you told luck. me that this was going to be easy. You said this is the easiest part of the game. No, you never told me that. You said this <laughs> for would some. Be, you, you said know, this would be pretty easy cool. for me. <laughs> oh, that lady. Oh, there's more. There's multiple of you. I don't I don't want to fight him, but he just saw me, so I guess we're fighting now. Oh no. No Pinocchio move! Don't worry about the chest. <laughs> we'll come back for it. Alright, let's see. Oh I just gotta go for it. I, oh, okay, oh. alright, alright. And they're throwing stuff at me. There's a bear trap there, and there's a dog. Wes, you said this would be fun, you promised. <laughs> oh, God. It's, I completely forgot about this That's fine. section. I feel kind of bad. No, 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 no. This is uh, good. The other this option. Is a good, this is a good section too. The other option would have been just watch me fight a mid boss for like an hour, which is like I don't want to do that. No one wants to watch that. 
<laughs> so it's like I'd rather be exploring a new area, you know. Cool boss though. Oh. Oh, you can come in here, can you? Whoa. Let's give him one of these. Which didn't really do a lot of damage, but you know what? We had fun. Let's get our fire sword going. Oh, is he a little stuck in the doorway? Oh gosh. Oh, he hits hard. He looks like um, who's the the Superman villain? Dark. Um, oh god, I am getting hit with decay now. Uh, um, Apocalypse. Uh, uh yeah. There we go. All right. From uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Of course, everyone. Or actually, he's not in Justice League. He's in a uh, Batman vs Superman: The Dawn of Justice. Oh yeah, I didn't know what you're talking about until you said the subtitle. Actually, thank you. Come have some fire, sir. Is it not Apocalypse Campo? I haven't oh, seen that no. movie in a minute, so. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know what? At least I can go see what was in that chest. I'm not gonna come out of this alive, but that's okay. Oh, I got quartz. That's worth it. Yeah, very. Hell, you know what? I might just. Can I even get back to where I Doomsday, once belonged? Doomsday, that's right. Doomsday, there you go. Doesn't he? He has a real Doomsday vibe to him. Yeah, I can see that for sure. I want. I kind of want to just go back and turn in my experience and use the quartz. Apocalypse is the X Men and Marvel uh, villain. Oh, right. I don't remember where that thing is, though. It's not this way. You have an item. Um, go to your. Uh, you have an item for that, I think. Oh, you really? Should. Yeah. Why is it just um, one of those things I never use? Let's see. Bag. Um, oh, okay. Immediate character death upon use. Well, that that's no good, right? No, the one under that. Uh, I forget what it's called. The little uh, time clock looking thing. Moon yeah. phase and power turns you. Oh, okay. Unlimited uses and Might as well no go to the hotel. negatives. That's cool. First time chat for the Campo. Other ones from the yeah, I have. I want to. I'll get some more experience and um, and then actually this maybe is a souls like maybe you can talk me Campo. through using the quartz because I I don't fully understand it. Where's my friend? Where is she? Oh, there she is. She's at the top stairs. She moves sometimes. Mm -hmm. Let's get some health. Because I, I don't really use... I, in Souls Likes in general, just like the way I play, I never throw a lot in health because it's like... It takes so long to me to like... It's like you're either going to get hit once and it's like game over. Or, mm -hmm. it, you know what I mean? Like you have to level up your health like four times before it's like... Well, now you can get hit twice. Take, take an <laughs> extra know? hit, yeah. Like, okay, so I'm. That's uh, Geppetto's here. That's my dad. Ampo, you can subscribe Hi, to our magazine, or you can even just go into like your GameStop and buy a single issue. That's right true. now, we have our Assassin's Creed Mirage issue, and it, uh, I wrote the cover story for it, and it's a pretty good cover story, if I do say so myself. And there's lots of other great features in it as well, and I think mm -hmm. it will only cost you six bucks. That's a pretty pretty good deal. Like eighty plus pages of original feature content. So Wes, I, I I'm a little confused by quartz because I think I like I, I so this I've leveled yeah. up fully, but yes. like you have so, to okay. you have to put two. So each right now in phase one, you can see there's two slots. Yeah, you have to put something in both slots, which requires one quartz to get that top effect, which in this instance is link dodge. Okay. Um, Which seems good. I one, want Link dodge. Once you start uh, one of these circles, like complete it. That way you can get that bonus. Otherwise, okay. you'd be kind of wasting it. But I um, you made was... the right call. Getting the the increased plus pulse cells. That's uh, essential. Yeah, I did. I finished that one, and then I did this. Mm -hmm. the, the problem I ran into is like I have these like two. Okay, so I have. I think I'm understanding it now as I'm talking to you. I have enhanced scale have... attack one there, and enhance. Because mm -hmm. then I remember I was trying to like get this third thing here but it wouldn't let me but if i go over to that's the part you i was only like have, confused about you can only have one from each type in a slot in a slot so okay. or on this circle so right now you've already got an attack type 
on there, so you have to pick a type from the other three categories. Okay, lowers the damage received when pulse. Eh, that sounds complicated. Charge Legion lowers charge attack. Oh, uh, that doesn't seem all that useful. Increase weapon durability recovery speed. Okay, that's pretty cool. So my I, my grinder works faster, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that that counts towards the specialized ones as well. Um, like if I want to do the fire grinder. No, it's not at this point. It's it's uh, it makes your bar go up faster. Okay. So like the animation will be the same for the fire one, but when you're like trying to increase or repair your weapon, it goes um it's better. Oh, this just gives me more ergo. That seems pretty useful. Yeah, that's. That's a pretty good one. I would get I that one. Do that one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now I have the link dodge. Ooh, and this. Oh, because I've filled in two of the bubbles, I now have a new set of. Yes. Okay. Did you? And how much of this see... did you fill out in your first playthrough? Like a lot? Or... Um, I, I made it all the way to phase five, which is the last phase in okay. playthrough one. Um, and but I didn't fill out every single one. Basically, when I opened up phase two, I did phase two, and when I opened up phase three, I moved on. I wouldn't try to like max out because you'll barely oh, get to nice. phase five okay. um if you if you find most courts that's probably your, yeah, you'll see that game um, plus it to get that kind of stuff i guess right exactly yeah and now that you're in phase two you'll see that the slots you can pick are in a different category they're going to be stronger and better perks you uh get to add cool i like just kind extra... of why you should move on to two i like this extra dodge that's cool like it's, mm -hmm. I, it probably doesn't look any different to those watching, but I can like do two quick dodges in a row. That seems really handy, especially the way I play, which I'm very much a, I'm a roll Dodgy. out of the way kind of guy. I'd, I'd sooner yeah. dodge than um, uh, what sort I'm looking for? Um, block than block. Yeah. Parry. Yeah. I um. There's another one. I think in phase two now that you get it, it's uh you can dodge from the ground which is oh. if you see that one make sure you get that one very especially with how you're playing dodge heavy uh very very useful because he takes pinocchio takes his time getting up <laughs> he do tough life oh i need i haven't opened up the red lobster yet let's see what's in the red lobster lord on this is a rolls like rolls like i mean aren't they all if you play like me, that is. I can't stop and have a conversation with everybody, game. Thing Master, we are actually... The uh, main objective right now is to find the uh, Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Also, Campo, if you haven't picked up a magazine in 10 years, you should go do that. They're, yeah. They're really awesome now. We I mean, they've always been awesome. really hard on that, you guys. Yeah. It's basically like what we do. What we all do, the time. actually. <laughs> Don't hit me with your. And I do blood think bottle. I, I think a lot. I've seen Whoa. some people that haven't picked up a game in four in, in a while. I think that they might think that for whatever reason we have not. Uh, the magazine is. We we know that people are online and stuff. Our magazine's not like a news heavy magazine or anything like that. Maybe how it used to be back in the day, where it'd be a little more timely in that way like we write evergreen because we want you to be able to pick up a magazine today or six months from now or a year from now and get a really interesting feature about a game coming out or a game you just beat or a game you've played like we know people get their news and their immediate information online and we take that into account with our stories and i think the uh, magazine reflects that and it's really awesome yeah that's that's a good way to put it i like that and yes sing master magazines are uh, too slow for current news. Yeah, uh, moves news moves like hourly now, and obviously magazines take time to ship. But yeah, you're gonna get great features, and also our cover stories. We are playing games that nobody else has played often, and um, yeah, and yeah, traveling great read. distances to get our hands on them too. Especially now yeah. that the world's kind of opening up a little more, or a lot more. Mm -hmm. Can I, can I get you... Can I get a big hit on you? That'd be nice. Nope, that's fine. I didn't want to anyway. Do you think... I I, I, I know you're a little behind me, uh, Wes, but, like, did I... Was there a better way I could have done that? Like, where I, like, snuck up on the boss, like, as he was walking around? No, he... Just, he's yeah, always he doesn't gonna, have, He's like, always gonna see me. Yeah, and he doesn't have, like, a sneak uh, fatal attack like you're looking for. I will say, there's a good bit more of this area to explore, and doing so will... God, um, this is going... 
let you uh, take out some of those enemies up top that are Yeah, I want to take them um, out. They're not, you. they're not too much of a problem, frankly, but, like, I want to see what's up there. It looks like there's fun stuff up there. Uh, I spoke too soon, because I just as I finished saying, ah, they're not a problem, I, like, totally got hit by one of them. Don't hit me so much, Apocalypse, or whatever your name is. Doomsday. Doomsday. Get it right. I already forgot. What's going on in chat? Now that I can look away for a second. Hey, when does this game come out? Is it next? The 19th, which I think is Tuesday. Okay. Um, You can buy, because it's 2023 and every company does this now for whatever reason. You can pay uh, like 10 or $20 more for some deluxe whatever edition. And it opens up tomorrow, Saturday, okay. uh, like Weird. midday. Um, yeah, we uh, there's no such thing as a single release date anymore. Every game can just come out four or oh, five they times. Feel like it. <laughs> yeah. Lord on ask is Reiner still there? Andrew Reiner, our old editor in chief. Uh, emphasis he's, on the word old because he is now. Because he's an old uh, man. Gearbox. Oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he's dead to us. Uh, yeah. Where you don't forgive him for leaving us. I wasn't here when he left, but I retroactively am mad at him. And always will be. Sorry. That's how it goes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I actually, uh, <laughs> I see Reiner all the time because our kids are good friends. Um, so, oh, what? That's awesome. So, yeah, so Reiner and I are always dropping each other's kids off at each other's house and stuff and saying, can you watch this for a little while? Thanks. And they, they're always playing Roblox together. So Reiner and I actually have most of our discussions in the background of uh, online chats our kids are having on Roblox. Mm -hmm. That's how we catch up all the time. <laughs> no, but That's he's, awesome. yeah, he's, a, I think you said he's, he's at Gearbox. He's like a bigwig over yes, there at Gearbox yeah. now, so. I forget his official title, but yeah, it's way, way I think it's there. bigwig. It's, um, I don't want to say CEO, but it's like global something. It is, it's something fancy. I remember officer. he told me, I was like, oh my God, can we even hang out anymore? Let me see. I'm going to look up on Twitter because I know it's in his handle. Whoa. God, I am struggling uh, with this guy. Yeah, Global Creative Officer at Gearbox. So, what is CEO? CEO is usually Chief Executive Chief Officer, executive so he's officer. Creative Executive Officer, and he's global, so he's out there, he's a man of the world, um, being creative, Whoa. creatively executive. <laughs> oh, I should have retrieved my death ergo. Okay, I'm at least like, I got more of this guy's health down this time, at least. He's eating caviar and we're eating chicken of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had caviar for the first time on a recent uh, work trip in France because they uh, don't charge a ton for caviar. Still kind of expensive, but more affordable than. Yeah, that's like one of those things. Here. If you have the opportunity, it's like oh, I gotta try it, right? Like. Mm -hmm. I, don't think I, I did, and it. I loved it. It's uh, very delicious. I still would never pay the prices I often see for caviar. Um. They're like it's, it's got the same intensity of a caper, oh, but it's like sure. yeah. tastes like the sea, which I like. If you like oysters and stuff, you'll like caviar. But yeah, one hundred and ten dollars for like what amounts to five or six bites. I assume those little cans. Come on, just absurd to come me. On, come know. on, come on. Oh, <sighs> okay. Too rich for my blood. Sorry, I promise I'm paying attention, Wes. Things just got really intense there for a moment. But he's got like one hit left on him. Or two or, or five, oh, but you know. You got this. <laughs> I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a patience amulet. What does that do? I want to see what that is. I think I'm safe in here, right? Mm. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I remember that. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, isn't that guy sleeping in the corner? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. God, that was like, that. he was like, I could see him in the corner. All right, let's see. What, it's a defense part, I think. Patience amulet? Is that what Ordon it is? says, nice, thanks for answering. Didn't realize he left. At least Matt and Joe are still there. I assume you're um, Matt Miller is our editor-in-chief now. Yeah. Um, and Joe Juba is who I assume the Joe he's yeah. referring to is no longer Joe here. Juba. Where's Where is Joe at? He's... Joe is like a full-time consultant now. Um, mm, he's okay. he's always working on secret stuff. Well, you'll never know um, if he had a hand in any of your games. Um, but that's, that's what he's doing these days. Another, uh, he's Still keep up with Joe. Got got donuts with him uh, and and Jeff Cork uh, somewhat recently. Jeff Cork's at uh, like the PR side of things now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or something. I think I've gotten some emails from him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
so yeah, we all we all stay connected. Um, uh, you're part. You you um not to invoke the sort of uh, I don't want to ins- invoke the sort of family term when it comes to sort of uh, corporate. You know what I mean? Like professional. No, I know that's a mean. whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But like truly, like yeah, yeah, yeah. we do. If you've worked at Game Informer, you you sort of you're connected. You know, and we all we all like each other and 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 stay in touch. No, yeah. I, I mean, Game Informer is a we're a small uh, yeah. team, and we are all working on a very a cool product that we all admire. I think it's different whenever I don't know if you work for Disney and they say we're you know the Disney family. It's like <laughs> okay, well, you're making billions and I'm making not billions. Yeah, yeah. Are we a family? I guess I... As cargo over caviar. Friends. Friends, that, you know. True, true friends. I'd like yeah, to think. Yeah. Uh, cargo. I actually had some... Speaking of, like, odd sort of highfalutin foods, I had cargo. Well, at Disney World, because it was on the menu, and I was like, oh, I should try that. I, I've had it before, but and it's it's not something I'm eating often. I've eat, I'm eating often, <laughs> if you can believe it. Where at, uh, where at Disney did you get... Escargot. Was it uh, all, uh, uh, France and Epcot? It was Beauty and the Beast's castle. It was like one of the appetizer oh, okay, yeah, options. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw the Beast. He came and said hi while I was eating dinner. And I said, excuse me, I'm in the middle of a meal. I don't want you to like come over to my table and bother me. I like that restaurant. It's very cool. It was good. Well, well themed. They have like fake snow in the in the in the what's it called? You know what I'm talking about. The windows. You know those things. Windows. Yeah, those things, yeah. Did you like the escargo? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Ooh, what are you? Hello, chain weapon. Happy Friday indeed. Oh, a bone nice cutting saw orange. blade and a bone cutting handle. For all Very your bone orange. cutting needs. Oh, I was gonna try to. I was gonna try Orange to has been rewatching old super replays on a regular basis. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah, we'll get back to Mortal Kombat. Speaking of super replays, we will get back to Mortal Kombat. I think, I think next week, uh, Marcus is out on assignment. I was out uh, on vacation last week. I went to Disney World, uh, which I was referencing, which was quite fun, and um, um. But we should we should be able to get back to, to Mortal Kombat uh, next week. I think. Golly, stupid holes in houses. I just recently learned, like last week, that Mortal Kombat. So I I heard everybody. I think we even had some stories up about it. Maybe in in Marcus's shell for y'all's super replay. Mm. Um, talking about Mortal Kombat's 3D era, and I was like, I don't know what, like, yeah, they they're 2D fighters, but the models are 3D, and I never paid much attention and i just discovered that during the ps2 era mortal kombat was like a full-on soul caliber tekken-esque fighter and that it, it blew my mind i completely missed that so i now i see why mortal kombat 9 was such a big deal when it came back yeah as like a traditional 2d fighter very cool yeah the 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 whole pitch of this current super replay is i i'm really like a i'm I'm at zero when it comes to mortal Kombat. like I, I, obviously i'm familiar with it i know scorpion i know get over here you know i know fatalities but like in terms of like the lore or like really any depth beyond knowing it's like a fighting game i i really know nothing about mortal Kombat. and so uh marcus's idea was like well let's play nine as like the great first that's the starting point for like what is the current sort of uh, generation of Mortal Kombat, so to speak. And uh, I'll get you caught up. So now I'm, like, learning more about all these characters and, like, their backstories, which I just was never really aware of. Um, and it's been it's been fun. Oh, I don't, I don't want to keep fighting this lady. Mud bottle woman. I'm just going to leave her alone. Uh, hey, Wes, I think we, Pinocchio. we might be calling it here pretty soon, actually. I want to play a little more, get to a good stopping point. But... Um, yeah, the plan Did you get the Red Lobster right? shortcut yet? No. That is that open? like is that like close-ish? Like is that with Yeah, that... I feel like that's that's attainable, yeah. Maybe cuz I I know uh you kind of <laughs> the, the uh, ending this stream also ends your Friday, I believe, right? So I don't want to hold you hostage. Um but I do want to get to a a point where I can comfortably stop. I don't remember specifically where, but yeah, it's like that's your next thing, and I don't think there's any like bosses or anything in the way of that shortcut. 
There's a hallway that I haven't gone down there yet, um, but I want to get my, my ergo back and, and also collect all the stuff that's up here. There's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. Chain Weapon asks, so speaking of story, is this, lore, is this game lore heavy like Souls or is there an actual story story? Um, it's like a mix of both. There is some of the more obtuse lore stuff going on, like you'd see in a Souls game. Um, picking up items, reading things. But for the most part, it's quite linear, both in how you play and the story. There is uh, bad guys with names, and they pop up during cutscenes, and you talk to them. And, like, I beat the game without feeling the need to find a YouTube video. Not that there are any that exist yet. Right. But, like, I beat Elden Ring, and I watched Vati vids for nine hours because he does amazing breakdowns of the story, and I need that to understand what I just did. I beat Pinocchio, uh, Lies of P, and I'm, I could tell you the entire story of this game. There's some like fun secrets to find on item descriptions and papers you pick up, but uh, for the most part, if you're paying attention, you'll roll, roll credits uh, feeling like you just completed a story about Pinocchio. Yeah, there, there are, like like you said, there are cutscenes of characters speaking and, and stuff like that, which almost, almost feels odd in a game of this style, but... Um... Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice though. I like it. Yeah, I kind of want to see what From Software could do with uh, some more linear storytelling. Yeah, I Sekiro I feel like is the closest that it has gotten to mm -hmm. playing with that, so to speak. Um, and even that's pretty yet, so. like well, you know I couldn't really tell you a lot of what happened in Sekiro. And you're protecting a child king. That's like about the extent of my understanding of what was going on in that game. I think armored armored course seems more linear in storytelling, but it's also not really a Souls like. Although I do no. know that this new one has some some elements of from software's modern day design. Yeah, it is. It is interesting that like if you love Souls and you want to play a Souls like in 2023, um, I would actually recommend this over Armored Core uh, or Wulong, uh, which is another one I really like this yeah. year as well. Uh, really snuck up on me and surprised me. I I think at the end of the year, Wes, we should do like a the you know all the Souls likes that From didn't release this year. You know, we'll have Lies of yeah. P and Wu Long and um, Lords of the Fallen Two, Lords of the Fallen Remnant in just Two. A few weeks. You know, yeah. um, there's there's a there's a bunch sure of fun ones more. that came out this year. You mentioned uh, Wu Long. Uh, they have a collaboration oh, with Lies of P. Be. Oh really? Um, oh, yeah. The the sword you're using, and I think you have it. It's like an umbrella uh, weapon. Those two weapons are going into Wo Long. I don't know if anything from Wo Long is coming to Lies of P. Although now that I think about it, I did get a weapon that was very out of place in Lies of P. That would have been in place in Wo Long. I need to look into it and see if maybe that's something from the collaboration. Trinity key. Campo says Armored Core is filler till Elden Ring DLC. I, I mean, to each their own. I have a friend who loves uh, Souls Likes, but had never played Armored Core, and he's obsessed with it. He's on like his fourth playthrough. Oh wow! Um, okay. So like, I think there's some crossover there. But I mean, I am also heavily anticipating Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Erd Tree. Yeah, cannot Hell wait. Yeah. I'm a I little worried what, where that's gonna fall in term like. I put 150 hours into Elden Ring. Is this DLC going to expect me to feel like a 150 hour player? <laughs> I know. Yeah, so, I don't. I'm screwed. A lot of From games have like the DLC is like, all right, now now begins the real challenge, and I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't really want that from uh, Elden Ring. Thank you. I would just like more Elden Ring, please. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, give me another big part of a map to explore. Yeah, I don't, yeah. And let me just, like, get my, you know, get my grips on everything. I don't want it to be just some bosses that kick my butt. And hopefully, I think they take that into account. This is the longest we've gone in between a From Software, Souls-like, and DLC. Um, so, hopefully they are working on something not only big and juicy, but, like, also takes into account that we not play these games in forever. God, these these dogs, I swear, are like in Resident Evil Four, <laughs> like they, with yeah. the big tentacles going out of their back. Yeah, give me those star Dang fragments. Master. Love a star. Because I wish they'd make a game like that, but without the XP loss system. You do. It's still a pretty standard Souls-like XP loss system, but and maybe Kyle, you can 
uh, agree or disagree with that. I feel like getting your air goes pretty easy in this game. Um, yeah. Like picking it back up, especially with bosses. If you die in a boss fight, they put your air go right outside the boss door so you can get it and then go level up. It's not like in Souls games where you need to go into the boss arena and get your souls. Yeah, that was like a, that was so an, nice. An early thing, you know, because like you hit the first boss and it. Oh, hello, dog. Um, and it, uh, yeah, it throws your air go in front of the gate, and I was like, that I love. That's such a small but important distinction of like because yeah. if you if you try a boss and you hit that moment that we've all hit in these games where you're like, I can't, I'm not going to defeat this boss right now. Like I'm just not going to be able mm -hmm. to. Like, I love that, like, you, they just give you that out of, like, okay, that's fine. Uh, just get your ergo and you can come back later if you want. And that's, yeah. that's really great. Yeah, I, I appreciate that a lot. Oh, here we go. This is the Red Lobster. Okay. So this, I'll explore Red Lobster here and then we'll, we'll call it a day, Wes. Like I said, I don't want to keep you too late. Yeah, it works for me. Although, there is a big boy in here. A bloater, oh, if you will. Boy. Does he like fire? Oh, he likes, he likes giant tentacle arms that's that's fun oh god come on man we're friends what are you doing don't hit me so i want to ask earlier what what property we wish would they'd make a souls like oh, out yeah. of give me a give me a last of us souls like <laughs> with the bloater that takes 15 minutes to kill just like just i actually think that would be not great but <laughs> it's like actually i died no thanks i don't want to play that <laughs> yeah <laughs> um was it that book world war z there's a guy. There's one yeah. of the one of the survivors is a guy who basically survived with a sword, you know. Um, yeah, that guy. Just that guy, you know. He's uh. That'd be cool. He's it's it's him. Oh, I don't know. Why I did that. Uh, okay. Last thing I'm gonna do, Wes, is I'm gonna try to go get my. I'm gonna sprint to it. I'm just gonna bypass enemies here. I'm gonna go get my ergo, and then uh, yeah. we'll, we'll call it a day. Um, I'm not ready for Red good. Lobster. Um, I'm, I just ate, so, you know. No more Cheddar can't, Bay Biscuits. Can't be throwing back Cheddar Bay Biscuits without getting a tummy ache. You know how it goes. I don't think I've been to Red Lobster in... Actually, I went there, like... Funny enough, uh, I, I went, me and my wife went on a trip when I proposed to her, and we had a gift card to Red Lobster, so we kicked off the trip where I would propose to her with... Red Lobster dinner now. That oh, I think yeah. about it. And then you proposed Just, to her there over a plate yeah, of Cheddar Bay Biscuits. A, they brought up lobster and they actually had the ring on the claw. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> That's funny. And romantic. Yeah. I shouldn't say funny. Yeah. No, yeah, it was both. Campus says they're not like they used to be. Yeah, it wasn't like... We had a gift card, so it was fine. It was free, uh, basically. Uh, but not as exciting as I remember when I was a kid and my parents said we were going to Red Lobster. That felt like going to fine dining. I don't I know. know if it ever was, but I remember those days fondly. Now, I oh, Red Lobster is not on the uh, lineup of restaurants for me to I, go to. I did, I think, at one point in the last, I don't know, two or three years, maybe, or something. Come on, guys, let me through. Christ, <laughs> on a cracker. Um, I think I door dashed um, some Red Lobster because, like, I wanted. Uh, <laughs> door dashed. Yeah, because, like, I wanted the biscuits, man. Like, those yeah, things are yeah. no joke. No, they're not. Can I open this door? Okay. Oh my gosh! Look at the. This is this. They've really modeled it after a Red Lobster. Look at this place. <laughs> Where's the lobster tank? Okay, this is what I wanted right here. I assume yeah. I can do this with enemies still around, right? Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, you open that door, Pinocchio. Oh boy. Now your life is much easier. Okay. Cool. Very very excited to hear what you have to say about the boss of this. Uh, area you're is it a, still got a little bit to go but it's it a, uh it's cheddar a bay biscuit is it endless shrimp yeah. is that what happens yeah. is that a thing that they do <laughs> endless shrimp just coming out of a hole like the rat boss in dark souls 2 just endlessly throwing rats at you i wish uh okay yeah this is a great stopping point i got through red lobster uh i got i can level up this is good stuff this is good stuff but yeah hey that's lies of p which kind of comes out tomorrow if you pay extra yeah. we've decided <laughs> me and wes um but or otherwise Tuesday if you just want to buy the standard edition yeah which is um pc ps5 xbox one right i believe it's xbox or series x excuse me um, yeah, yeah series x and s yeah and there is a demo um which does not progress does not transfer from that demo i don't think but if you want to check it out mm -mm, yeah. um 
a great way to do it. It's a good, it's a meaty demo. You'll get to the f- like first three bosses uh, of it. Yeah. It's like two, two, three hours of game, which is nice. Oh, a uh, last question for me, uh, Wesley. What am, I, what am I, halfway? A little over halfway? You are not halfway. You I'm are... not even halfway yet. Okay. You have one more like main boss before. Actually, you have two more main bosses before I'd say you're halfway. Okay, so I still have I still have quite a bit of game left here. Okay, I'm gonna stick with it though. I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I've been enjoying it. I think we told the story in the Game Informer show. I was actually on the review originally, but Wes mm-hmm. uh, just got so enamored with the game while I was on vacation uh, playing it that he actually took the the review over. So I've I've slowed down a lot on it because I don't have the uh, urgency <laughs> of the deadline, which is nice. Yeah. It, it worked out because. Um, I thought the game came. I thought the review embargo was later, but they actually moved the embargo up, yeah. which is rare. Um, and I just, yeah, you would have been probably pretty miserable trying to beat if you wanted to get embargo, beat that game in like two days. It would have yeah. just been. So I think it worked out in all of our favors. But yeah, no, yeah, I appreciate I, uh, it. You did me a favor, Wes. I thank you for yeah. that. Um, one last thing: when you get near the end, we'll stay in touch. I do think you should stream the end parts of this game oh, really? if possible on here because uh yeah it's a wild ending and i would love to um to watch yeah, it quite a tease quite a tease uh but yeah anyway uh we'll be back next week with probably mortal Kombat. but you know we're always sneaking bonus streams in there here and there we get games early we're allowed to play them early we try to do that uh, so thanks everyone for tuning in and look out for Lies of P releasing on Tuesday and read Wes's review on GameInformer.com. He gave the game a 9.5. Wes really likes this game a lot. Yeah, my uh, highest review ever yeah. at GameInformer. Cool. Well, thanks everybody. I'm going to turn off the stream now. Bye-bye.